such a high debt? Uh, no. No, I've seen, we get mornings in the bottom, we can't even do a trip. <laughs> The negative point one this morning with no wind. Full moons what tonight or tomorrow? Mm -hmm. We we'll start getting into January, February. The morning negatives will be negative point five, negative point six. Usually with the cold front, heavy north winds blow the water out. I've seen this whole bay right here dry twice with hurricanes. Quick safety talk, life jackets and safety equipment are in the black boxes back here by me. It's in the Everglades, if something goes wrong, step off the boat, stand next to it. We're in maybe 20 inches of water right now. back there we're through about 10 to 12 inches of water so wow don't really like the winter low tides all right so we're officially in the park chuck Lusky island itself is surrounded but actually in the park in 47 when they came to designate the park boundaries chuck Lusky was an annex of naples <laughs> so they had to designate the boundary around it and Everglades City was incorporated in 22 so they couldn't take it either So even though we have a visitor center here, we don't go through an entrance when we can live in the park out here so. Park itself third largest in the lower 48 about 2 million acres I said you came in from Naples today, so you came through uh, <coughs> Collier Seminole State Park, Fakachi State Preserve, part of Picayune Strand, and the 10,000 Isles Wildlife Refuge. Everything you drove through today to get here was the Everglades ecosystem, but the interior of it. The park itself is more of the, what's considered the estuarial end, or the end of the flow of the Everglades. President Truman commemorated the park in 47, he said it was the First time in our nation's history that we protect the waters end. So where most of our national parks protect the headwaters, this park protects the end of the flow. Uh, end of October, November, and they're gone by March. They're the real snowbirds. Hmm? The real snowbirds. Yep, so they are the true snowbird. They do not migrate here to have their young either. They come down here just to get away from the cold. Smart. <laughs> they go back up north in the spring and have their young up there. Do you see sharks? I mean, we see them. But you see them when you're fishing more than anything. Like that. 
the water's got a stain to it here. It's brown from the tannic acid of the mangroves. So it's hard to see the bottom in areas. So it's hard to see sharks. But they're here. We were surprised when we were in Maine last year. They don't have any pelicans up there. Too cold? Yeah, I, I guess. Just being a coastal town, you expect some pelicans. Good idea. Stand up a minute. Well, you're used to listening. That's, you have no choice. All the brown pelicans you see right there on the point tip, yeah. with the white bellies, were all born this year. And you see them with the white head and the white neck, they're at least three years of age. And they have that white belly and the dark head, they're newborns. Huh. That Sam will be underwater in half an hour, 45 minutes. The burial site was uncovered. Uh, part archaeologists determined to be pre Columbian, so they were Palouse Indians. What's a triple tail? Huh? What's a triple tail? Pretty weird. Didn't you just say something about oh, a triple, triple tail? Oh, triple tail is a big fish. Okay. It lays on the surface. Um, it's part of the Rass family, so it lays on the surface on its side, like an object. Yeah. And because of that, Little bait fish come up under it thinking it's structure and then they eat. We just went by and was floating right on the surface and we spooked it and it went down. Okay. You could go out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and throw a pallet in the water and it could be covered in fish. Anytime you cross the Gulf Stream to go to the Bahamas from Florida, anytime you find anything, anything floating out there, it's a given, God given chance there's going to be mahi mahi under it because they hang on structure. And the triple tail would create their own structure so the bait fish come up underneath them. And then they surprise them and attack them. Probably one of the best eating fish out here. My, my. No, the triple tail. Uh, my, my is pretty good. My, my is pretty good. Crazy looking fish. Not 
You could fill it with resin and put sparkles in it. Yeah, I'm not going to be doing that. Want to live on an island, hon? We do. It's the peninsula. What do you see, Ralph? down the beach, Mom, and then you can play Cherry at the Fire. Dun, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I like this driftwood. The driftwood's beautiful. Headed back to get on the boat. Okay, close to that prop, huh? Yeah, they're, they're smart. They don't look hurt.
to the motor. Oh, wow. Why do they like the waves? national record. Um, but most tarpon guys would never kill a tarpon for a piece of paper. They say the next world record is going to come out of Lake Nicaragua. It'll be over 300 pounds. I have it. I have it. All right, a little sunlight, Mother Nature, come on. Took all the biometrics down. What, just, why do they take them away? They didn't take them away, they just measured them and tagged them. Oh, okay. So they're highly protected and endangered. And then just recently I saw a pup. I got pictures of that. I was talking to an FWC officer last night. She's going to get in touch with the biologist on Shell Island and see if we get him back over here to tag the pup. It was a little baby. They get up to 15 feet long. Wow. Hmm? It's like a seed, it's not a fruit. I call them Christmas palms or date palm. They're not I haven't learned all the palm trees in Florida yet. There's like hundreds of them. But it's it's not a fruit, it's a seed. Like the kind of crap when a lawnmower hits it, it shoots windows out of houses. That's the ladder I have to go up. Back at the snook again. Saturday. We always say next year we're definitely doing it. There's a floating bar. <laughs> the Tiki Hut's a floating bar. <laughs> oh, that's a beauty, isn't it? The black one.
Go back to the car. I got the bridge. Yeah, I think so.